Dance. Thanks for joining me on the mic. I'm going to do a drum lesson today on the acoustic drums. Forgive me if I'm yelling a little bit, but I do have my earplugs in, which I advise, by the way, if you're playing acoustic drums and cymbals, especially if you're in an enclosed space like this where there's a lot of reverberation, you want to keep your hearing intact for as long as you can. But this lesson I'm doing today is a four bar fill based on the paradiddle diddle. If you don't know what the paradiddle diddle is, it's kind of just like it sounds. Like a lot of drum rudiments, the name of it is derived somewhat from the, uh, the sticking itself. And the uh, fill I'm doing today, like I said, it's four bars, if, if it's in 4-4 four, four time, as the 16th note um, is the subdivision. So it's, it starts out with the reverse paradiddle diddle, that is the doubles come first with the two single strokes at the end. So diddle diddle paradiddle. So it starts out with five of those in a row, but the fifth one ends with some single strokes. So if my tempo is one, two, three, four, it's like that. Then there are going to be four strokes and it's going to turn around so that it becomes a regular paradiddle diddle with the two single strokes at the beginning. So it's going to go like this. See if you can Follow me here. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. So it ends with a bunch of singles. So granted, that doesn't sound too good on the hi hat. Let me play it on the snare drum because it makes for a good snare routine and a pretty good fill on the snare drum alone, especially if you can bring the accents out. So here we go, I'll do it at a couple of different tempos. Here's the tempo. straightforward quarter note rock groove. I'll play four bars at a time and then play the fill.
thank you for joining me on the mic. I hope you find this to be an enjoyable workout and a field that you can make some use of. Practice hard, have fun. Bye-bye.